Hey everybody, GTV News for Gamers here, and today we're taking a look at the Age of Extinction Leader Class Optimus Prime. Guess how much I paid for this sucker. 50? 40? 30? Nah. 20, baby. Winners! Definitely. I absolutely love the artwork on these packages. I mean, look at that. It's Optimus, he's got his sword. He's all... He's bad already. Of course, it does extend out to the side. And on the back, we have... The obligatory product shot, Optimus with his weapons, his truck mode, Sword of Judgment and Vector Shield. I would have called that the Omega Lock, but eh, whatever. And of course, Grimlock as well. Apps, Logos, Western Star, Made in Vietnam. And the bio. Optimus Prime has long believed that freedom is the right of all sentient beings. The Autobot Commander prepares for battle. Prepares for the battle that will allow the Autobots to reclaim their role as Earth's honored protectors. Sorry about that. You've probably noticed that the toy is not in the package. And no, I did not pay $20 for an empty box. He's already out. <gasps> Unprecedented! Let's get this review started in vehicle mode. So as you can see, <laughs> Optimus this time around is no longer a Peterbilt freight truck. He is now a Western Star custom truck. Custom made for the movie, and yes, chrome paint. You can see me filming. We have definitely, that, that's an Autobot symbol if my camera will freaking focus. We got some nice painting on the windows. Nice, uh, interesting yellow. You got the flames. Lots of blue. Chrome on the smokestacks. On the sides. Roof. And the grill. Yeah, he rolls. Oh man. I really do enjoy, I really do like this vehicle mode. On the bottom we have the Sword of Judgment. Which I'm going to try and pull out. Ah, come on. Same shade as yellow, very nice. It is a very rubbery plastic. It could bend if you apply enough force to it. There's some silver paint. <laughs> silver paint, some nice red and blue on the sides of the hilt. Very nice. And of course, we have the vector shield. Very nice laser molding detail in there. It functions as not only a shield, but a three-barreled gun. Because we all know Bayformers love their guns. Some rather dull gray paint. And some nice bright red paint. I wish there was a bit more paint on here. It really, really could benefit from it. But that is about it for vehicle mode. And of course, some very nice plastic tires. Now, let's get this puppy into robot mode. Behold, Optimus Prime. Now, with extra bling. Definitely, definitely a cool figure. Just look at all of the detail, even on the face. Fantastic. His legs, arms, everything. It's amazing. Now, yeah, 
He's pretty much a shell former. <laughs> Most of his bottom half of his vehicle mode. That's on his back. And other parts of the vehicle, such as the hood here, become shoulder flaps. And the side doors become... Waist flaps, I guess. It's supposed to give off the feeling that he is a knight of sorts. Which, if you've seen the film, that does make sense. But, overall, yeah, I can see why people complain that he's too much of a, a Kibbley shell former. Maybe even a bit of a parts former, in a way. But still, the overall figure is pretty good. I like him. He's nice and big. And, I mean, just for comparison's sake... Sorry. Oh, here's G1 Power Master Optimus. And as you can see, they're pretty much the same height. So, yeah, that is, that's pretty impressive. He's not as big as some older leader class prime figures, but he's still a genuinely good figure. So, let's get, we're going to give him his sword. Okay. We're going to give him his shield. You can attach it either here, but I find it doesn't stay in very well there. So we're going to go gun mode. Come on. Come on, hold it. Well. Oh. Well, it turns out his thumbs are posable. Completely found that out by accident. Okay, so doesn't look like you can actually hold it, unfortunately. <sighs> Apologize, folks. There. Oh, the, the Optimus, hold up your sword. There. Look at that. Isn't that beautiful? Look at him. He's great. He's ready to fight. Ready to defend his army! Oh, I'm sorry. No, I'm not. It's a joke. We're going to take it as one, people. So, let's see articulation. We have... Actually, an ankle tilt. It is technically because of the transformation, but that's still pretty cool. The legs move forward and back, even though they are hindered somewhat by that weird skirt. Bend at the knees, which can be hindered by the kibble. Uh, arms can be hindered by the cable. They can move like that. Ratchets, clicky joints, spinny joints. More clicky joints at the elbow. Posable thumbs. The cable can be a real pain with this toy. And uh, that fell off. <laughs> Bad toy, you're making me look unprofessional. And the head can turn side to side and even look up a little. Uh, and you can get him in some pretty nice dynamic poses. Overall, yes, the kibble very much can hinder the articulation. He is very much a shell former. But the good does mostly outweigh the bad here. We have a lovely paint job in both modes, a very nice truck mode, two good weapons, even if this one is a little bit uh, flimsy, a very nice size of toy, and overall, the aesthetic of a knight works very well. Now, I would not have paid, and thankfully I did not have to pay $50 for this thing, or 60 as it was up in Canada. But, $20, not bad. For this, a figure of this quality, not bad at all. And believe me, it is not nearly as much of a shelf warmer as the first edition. <laughs> Avoid that one at all costs, folks. Anyway, this is GTV News for Gamers saying, 
transform and roll out and subscribe.